Hi everybody, Captain Bart One here. Um, another long-term review. This is the VanQuest Javelin, uh, right shoulder carry, and uh, I have had the bag around about a year. Uh, well, right at a year. I uh, took a stint with it, and Bushbum and Twenty Nine took a stint with it, and we compared some notes, and all in all. An awesome bag. Pardon the dramatic pause. I was gathering my thoughts and <clears throat> excuse me, but very much an awesome bag. Very much. Um, when I got the bag a year ago, it was right after shot or during shot, and there was an error or a, a, a manufacturer defect, and the boys at VanQuest did not have their phones with them so I felt kind of left out but they corrected the issue as soon as they got hold of me or once they got back to their phones issue was corrected super customer service big thumbs up and I mentioned that back in April of this past year in a video I did saying I was going to hold off on judgment well a year on the down the road this bag is awesome period awesome um, just a few of the highlights, the things that I really like. This front slash pocket here is enormous. Um, oh, I don't know. Was that 8x6, 8x5, something like that? 9x5? Holds plenty, plenty of room for my boo boo kit, my medications. I keep a couple S beaners in there. And if I need to put mail or outgoing mail, you know, something like that, I can just shove it in it's perfect organization incredible 33 pockets everything has a home it doesn't shift it doesn't go away if you prefer the bloody great sack kind of carry where you uh, put your where you uh, subdivide your kit into smaller pouches this bag is not for you it isn't <clears throat> excuse me um, I love the fact that I don't have to add other little bags to keep this organized. Uh, the only exception would be my uh, secondary power source for backup power source, rather for cell phone and tablet. That's kept in a in a, a hard drive case, a Case Logic hard drive case, basically for convenience, just switching it back and forth. And it's got a lot of pieces, so that notwithstanding. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what else? The carry handle, this top carry handle is awesome. Very big, very comfy. The thing with Max Ped, and I like I like their stuff. I've carried a lot of their stuff. Sometimes their grab handles aren't quite big enough. At least in my little humble. Um, durability. This is 1000 or 1050D Cordura, and it is bomb-proof. Uh, Ryan and I both just... I, I'm not... I don't look to abuse a bag, but I'm not scared to carry it either. Um, you know, I don't drag it through the mud and foolish things like that. Now, if it got a little something-something on it, yeah, I would get a wet paper towel or a wet rag, just wipe it down, fixed. It's not an issue. Um, never has been. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, very comfortable to wear, even. And I've got it loaded, oh, I would say 12 or 15 pounds. And uh, it, it rides very well. It's very comfortable. Um, if it's needing stabilized, break out the stabilizer strap, clip in, and cinch it down, not an issue. <coughs> Excuse me again. Once again, um, this is an organizer's delight. Once you get the hang of where everything is, and I mentioned this in my video back in April of last, this outboard admin panel right here, this rascal, take a look at that. That's perfect for what it is. I mean, notebook, 
a couple of a pen, a couple sharpies. You could get another sharpie in there or a screwdriver or something if you had to, wanted to. There's plenty of room. There's room. There's another pocket back here behind the notebook. I'm just not. This isn't just out to the gills. And it's it's nice. The height is orange everywhere in this bag. You can't. Well, you could lose it, but you're not going to lose it in here. In a low light situation, you've got your flashlight on. You're looking. Oh, where's my where's my sewing kit or where's my duct tape? Oh, there it is. Or I, I need a pen. Very very nice. Just the nice little touches like that. I really I really dig this bag. And no, I did not carry this bag the entire year. Like I said, I carried it oh eight eight months, something like that. Ryan carried it for several months. He was asking about it. He was thought about buying one. I'm like, well tr take mine and try it for a while. I tried some other things. A couple of Max uh Fat Boy and a Colossus and they uh, they were okay, but I, I came back to this bag just for the organization and the volume. Um, those of you who remember, I did have a Trident 20 for a little while, which is basically this bag, about 20% larger with two straps. Um, it was not for me for a lot of reasons. N nothing to do with bag quality. Bag was awesome. Just... Uh, compatibility. There you go. So, uh, if there are any questions you have about this bag, just hit me downstairs. Um, I appreciate you guys subscribing. I sure do. I, I hope you uh, find this stuff kind of interesting or at least useful. I know someone asked about this or the Trident. I don't remember which. Uh, I think it was the Trident, quite honestly. But, uh, you know, if this was, uh, what was this, $120? And you, they got a fire sale going on the website right now. I did not check to see if the V-Slingers were on that. But uh, it would certainly be worth a look. Uh, VanQuest.com is their website. So uh, give them a look. If you, have, if you have questions about the bag or anything specific... Uh, just send me something down there if you if you need a a better layout. I think a lot of people have gone over the layout of the bag, and I, I don't see a point in blowing my bag up to you know to beat that horse one more time. <clears throat> so if uh, if there's anything else you guys would like to see, you can give me something down below. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And uh, till I get to talk to everyone again. This is Captain Part One standing by.